Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on how to set the spawning locations of different players in a multiplayer game uh, to predetermined locations. So I want to start the player one here and the player two here and player 3 here you can go on like that uh, as uh, to support any number of players you want using the same system at the moment I only have three players so these are the locations first one here then here then here so if I play here are the three instances see this guy's starting position is here you can see in the minimap and this guy is here as I mentioned so this guy is over here in this corner of the map so yeah that's what we are going to look into today okay so at the moment when I play it's just play one player is spawned here and another player, ne player is here so we don't have a specific point so what i want to do is having two first some play one player here and another player here so two specific locations for two players right so how can we do that if i just simply duplicate the player Forms and place here. It's not going to work even though we have set two auto process player one as well. It's not going to work. So I can show that. So see here the player over here is possessed and here it looks like it worked but it's not always consistent. So the server is spawned here previously and client is this one but um, I don't have um, I haven't placed or mentioned which whether to process by client or server for each of these player pawns if I have set player 0 for both even if I set player 1 for both it's not like that pawn is going to be possessed by the client see now it's in here both in both server and client the player character over here is possessed so how can we control that behavior mm right in the game mode we have a function on post login so here we get a reference to the player controller so if i just print here print this name Let's keep it for 20 seconds and play. See S this BP top down controller is printed, and then server BP top down controller is printed. So, why didn't I say client? Right, anyway, let's try something like this. Um, in the player pawn, I'll add a variable player index, and it should be an integer. 
I'll make it public and this one I'll set player index 1 now in the top down game mode here I'll remove this default pawn class right and then uh, I want to I want to see if I if this is called two times in the same place so to see that Let's add the integer variable. Let's print the play index as well. the index then I'll increment display index so if this is get called twice I should say 0 player 0 and player 1 player 0 player 1 nice okay now I'll do this get all actors of class player four. Right and let me put this aside for now. From now for which the with break then we can check the index and compare it with the play index we have here if this is true we can process so oh, wait Add a reference to this one. This is a player controller. And process. This character. And do the rest. And also we need to break it here all right shall we test okay so server is considered player one and client is considered oh no this is server so server is here client is here and this is player zero this is player one okay so it's working as intended Let's test again to make sure. Yeah, good. Cool. 
and to further test this I'll add another um, layer form here duplicate and place here I'll mark it as layer index 2 and here I'll add number of players 3 now if I play I got 3 instances see server here client 1 here client 2 here so yeah we can give we can uh, set different players to spawn in different locations let me test again yeah it's okay okay so in the next time i want to work on creating different teams of characters that can be controlled by each different players so for example if we assume this guy belongs to the player one then we should not be able to select it here but i can at the moment because we haven't implemented that and these guys uh, belongs to this player so we should be able to control them but not the other one so that's what i am going to look into next in the next episode so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link could be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye